Yes, thank you too for to invite me for this uh, for this uh, presentation. Uh, it's a good opportunity to show you uh, how is the work of my team with, in collaboration with Pasteur Institute in France. So, so you come from an institute where Pasteur lived in uh, Nancy, did he not? From Nantes, yes. Yes, so, I mean you come from the Institute of Pasteur's town. Yes, we are working together for. So. Um, I know. Okay. I I go back. Say, excuse me. Yes. Um, of course, there is a nice story for from uh, the, the role of the vaccine, uh, virus vaccine in cancer, uh, as uh, just uh, exposed before. So I, I don't have to to come back to that. But uh, the interest. Um, we focus on the, on the or colitic virus uh, uh, because they are specialized to uh, sometimes infect tumor cells specifically, and this is this is one of the of the most interest of some of these vaccines because they they have as as uh, told before by Stephen Russell or Vacchetti uh, that. Of course, the interest of the virus vaccine have to infect exclusively or preferentially tumor cells and kill efficiently this tumor cell by apoptotic process, most of, but also of uh, dead cells. But they, are, they have to be specific to the uh, tumor cells. On, in, in counterpart, they, of course, have no toxicity. They don't have to have toxicity against the healthy cells on most, uh, as you previously, Dr. Anna, uh, suggest for the immune system. They don't have to kill the immune system, of course. And um, so, uh, finally, uh, the dead cells they, they ob we obtain from the cancer cells have to uh, also, is the interest is to uh, is stimulate the anti-tumor immune response. So, we focus with my collaborator, Frédéric Tanji, from uh, the Pasteur Institute in France uh, the, uh, on the measles virus, uh, the, Schwa the Schwarz strain, uh, because they have a lot of this opportunity exposed before. This uh, paramyxovirus uh, of, uh, like, uh, proposed a single stranded RNA. First, they, uh, they, this is an attenuated uh, vaccine uh, used for 60 years without any problems in, uh, for the vaccination. So we have the opportunity to use this vaccine too. And specifically, this is the interest. They target the, ex uh, the receptor CD46. And CD46 is over expressed by most of the tumor cells because this is um, uh, 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 a solution for the tumor cells to avoid the complement uh, cytotoxicity from the immune system. So they protect them from this immune system with the exposition of the uh, CD46 receptor. On, in healthy cells, this CD46 is lower expression uh, at the cell surface. And um, this, uh, this, uh, these tumor cells uh, they are, are not the antiviral pathway uh, to, to block the, uh, the amplification of this uh, virus inside after the infection. So, um, we demonstrated this, uh, this expression of CD46 for uh, mesothelioma, uh, asbestos cancer, colon lung cancer, recently for melanoma, on our um, uh, also working uh, the, the Steve Russell's uh, teams in uh, Mayo Clinic uh, in the Rochester Institute, they uh, demonstrated for lymphoma, glioma, breast, ovarian, prostate cancer, uh, this overexpression of the, uh, CD46. So the objectives of, of uh, our demonstration was first to use this vaccine to specifically kill tumor cells, to induce apoptotic uh, tumor cells and for most of the cells. And uh, we, we, are looking, uh, we were looking for on damage on pathogen-associated molecular patterns. Why? Because this DMP, DMP and PAMP uh, acti are able to activate either all the population or subpopulation of the dendritic cells, which are myeloid dendritic cells and plasma citroid dendritic cells. And once they are activated, these two kinds of tumor uh, dendritic cells are able to, uh, to stimulate the T lymphocytes, mainly CD4 and CD6, CD8, which are able then to kill the tumor cells. So first, um, we are looking for the oncolytic properties of the myosal virus on, on, the, on the tumor cells. Uh, so uh, to demonstrate they, of course, infect exclusively cells and not uh, normal cells. We uh, first, uh, uh, we use this cell culture, as you can see here, uh, subconfluent to confluent cell culture of these cells. And we expose these cells to uh, 
great quantities of uh, these uh, various vaccines and uh, with GFP. So you, you can see here, after 15 minutes, the GFP uh, positive cells uh, after 15 minutes. We expose these cells for two hours only and then we remove the, uh, this, uh, this uh, virus. We tested on a lot of, of um, tumor cells, on mesothelioma, melanoma, lung cancer, colorectal. And so you can see that 14 on 18 uh, mesothelioma cell uh, culture are able to be infected, seven, uh, seven to eight, three to four, and four to four. So most of the uh, subpopulation subpopula uh, of cancer cells are killed by this, this one. And I would like to, to show you how it's happened. So you see the cells are infected, but since the cells are infected, they are going to fuse with the uh, neuro cells and then to form a, a, a lot of a package of these cells, syncytia. And these syncytia, once infected together, all the cells are infected, then, then go to apoptotic process and uh, all the cells killed after this, this time. And you see, without three days, all the population for, this is of course the best, but I, I exposed you the best, but after three days, all the cell culture, are, uh, all the cells in culture are killed in, uh, by the infection, syncytia formation, on all the liberation of, the, of these apoptotic cells and proteins inside the uh, medium. So, um, then after we tested on lung cancer cells, normal cells, and mesothelial cells, that's it, more normal cells. And you can see here, after two days, some, you, you will see, uh, if I remember, two or three cells infected. Uh, yes, a one, and uh, on the other one will appear uh, here, but I think, uh, as I remember, no lung cells, normal cells. So that means this, this specificity of um, this uh, virus, oncolytic virus vaccine, to kill the tumor cells, but not to touch, to touch the, the normal cells. It's in re really important too. Also, for fibroblast, I we tested on, uh, for, of course, on endothelial cells. So we have now demonstrated that, of course, they infect exclusively the tumor cells, but not the normal cells. But now the second is uh, to to show if these dead cells are uh, able to stimulate the immune system. So, do they produce damage or pat uh, pathogen associated molecular patterns? Of course, when the cell death, when, when we observe the cell death, we observe the exposition of calreticulin, as you can see here, which calreticulin from the dead cells are uh, it me signals. That means all the cells which expose calreticulin are specially phagocyte by the dendritic cells and uh, macrophages. So. You can see uh, for, for mesothelioma, for uh, lung cancer, melanoma, and, and uh, colon rectal cancer. Also, they express H HMGB1 or HSP, which are on, on the tube, on the dendritic cells. Uh, there, uh, there are receptors from um, specific receptors on the toll like receptors that recognize this a uh, HMGB1, for example. And since the receptors are activated, they are able to activate the mat activation on maturation of the dendritic cells. So it's the interest to demonstrate that after you obtain the, 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 the dead cells after infection, we have these three principal markers to uh, activate the uh, maturation of the dendritic cells. Do they occur? Of course. We have, de we have to demonstrate if uh, these dead cells are able to activate either the myeloid dendritic cells or plasma cytoid dendritic cells. So first, we tested the, the effect of, uh, of uh, direct in, uh, infection of, of this uh, uh, monocyte-derived dendritic cells, that my myeloid on plasma cytoid. You can see that some of the uh, myeloid dendritic cells derived from monocytes are able to be infected, but not killed by these cells, and not all the uh, myeloid are infected, but no of the plasma cytoid dendritic cells are infected, or either they are infected, they don't replicate inside the, the, the virus, so they are not killed by, the, uh, this, uh, by, by this virus, uh, measles virus. So the interest of this uh, measles virus is either they infect, they don't kill the test cells and don't replicate inside, so they are able to be used in the vaccination process. And we demonstrated uh, a few years ago uh, that, uh, of course, the uh, tumor cells infected by the virus 
are able to activate the myeloid or monocyte derived dendritic cells as exposed here as a control we are, we used uv uh, induction of the two of, of the uh, dead cells by, uh, for the tumor cells and uv doesn't activate the maturation of the dendritic cells uv dead cells tumor cells are not uh, able to activate but only mv are able to activate since you observe some of the markers of the maturation of the my myeloid dendritic cells also, we demonstrated that this myeloid uh, uh, um, cells, after this activation and maturation, then where phagocyte, these tumor cells are able to activate a specific T cell clone. For example, we demonstrated for Merck one CD8, where we have this clone. So we demonstrated that compared to a maturation process uh, with uh, cytokines, we are able to uh, activate it also when they are phagocyte. This one, this, uh, the dendritic cells are able to uh, able to activate the CD8. They also, we demonstrated that from naive uh, CD8 uh, lymphocyte, we are able to activate a specific uh, uh, T, -cell, uh, T cell population against uh, mesocellin. It was a demonstration that the cross presentation of these myeloid dendritic cells after uh, the phagocytes, the infected tumor cells. So we also um, tested on the plasma cytoid dendritic cells. Why? Because these cells are specifically uh, activated by the virus infection. Uh, so it was a good, uh, 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 good cells to activate the immune, immune systems and after infection. So we tested uh, this plasma cytoid dendritic cells. We compare uh, this plasma cytoid dendritic cells when they have infected the tumors, uh, when they have phagocytes, uh, infected tumor cells, they are able to be matched compared to uh, this uh, mimic uh, to activated uh, this mimic remote, for example. We, 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 are, we tested, uh, as we, I demonstrated later, uh, we, did, we tested the production in interferon, which is really important because the interferon has two effects. First, they have the effects on this, uh, around the cells with the uh, effects of interferon, type 1 interferon on the tumor cells, but also the resistance of these cells against the virus infection using this type 1 interferon too. And then we demonstrated that, as previously, we demonstrated the antigen cross-presentation cross in humans as exposed before for other, um, other HIV and influenza uh, infection. So first, compared to monocyte-derived dendritic cells, we demonstrated that these plasmacytoid uh, dendritic cells are able to phagocyte MV infected uh, population for is, here it's melanoma on uh, uh, lung cancer and we demonstrated that the, the cells are the plasma cytoid dendritic cells are able to phagocyte this uh, infected tumor cells this is infection of the tumor cells around <coughs> and you you observe here in uh, phagocyte phagocytosis process sometimes for uv here phagocytosis process and not uh, for uv this is the, the role of the calreticulin uh, expression also, we demonstrated that there is an activation and maturation of this, um, of this plasma cytoid dendritic cells once they have, they have phagocyte infected tumor cells, but not UV uh, dead cells. That's, uh, we, you have the, uh, here it's possible to observe on CD40, uh, here the control, here is, it's uh, tumor cells infected, for example, here it's UV uh, dead cells. So you see activation of this plasma cytoid compared to the control 2, uh, also you see for the uh, CD46. So the Infected tumor cells are able, after phagocytosis, to stimulate the um, plasma cytoid dendritic cells. Also, we demonstrated that uh, these uh, plasma cytoid dendritic cells are, are highly uh, over expression of T uh, interferon type 1, for example, after uh, they have phagocytes. Uh, infected tumor cells, not the UV uh, dead cells, it's, which is really important to the expression of interferon as exposed here. And also, uh, uh, of real interest, it's uh, the possibility of these plasma cytoid dendritic cells to activate specific T cell clones against uh, tumor antigens of I, this uh, NY is a one uh, clone, T cell clones, which is specifically activated by the, when the plasma cytoid dendritic cells phagocyte the infected uh, tumor cells, but not the UV tumor cells. Uh, this is compared as you loaded this uh, plasma cytoid cells with a quantity of uh, uh, 0.1 uh, micromolar of peptide. So it's very important of the presentation of the antigens. 
So, in conclusion, uh, what we have demonstrated here is, uh, is the tumor cells are able to uh, be um, infected specifically and to induce apoptosis, which expressed uh, pathogens on damage associated molecular patterns. Yes, it's possible, and uh, the danger si signal expression is able to uh, activate the uh, plasma cytoid or uh, uh, mild dendritic cells by, uh, this, uh, after the uh, exposition to this pathogen. And these cells activated, these uh, antigen presenting cells, subpopulation after uh, activation, maturation, are able to activate specifically T cell clones, but also naive T cells against specific antigens. So uh, this uh, two cell, uh, this specific infection is able to be uh, used uh, for uh, vaccines. So as uh, my conclusion is, MB is a potential new vaccine for cancer therapy, and I hope so. And uh, last, I would like to thanks to my team here, on my collaborators here, on my collaborators in uh, Pasteur Institute, Frédéric Tanji, on Mariana, Messel Lemoine, and also we have a specific, uh, uh, um, how I can say, platform, as I said, uh, for the hospital, the question from Dr. Anna before, the platform that we have specifically to propose the, uh, to, to uh, produce a vaccine and to produce the tumor cells specifically inside of the hospital. Thank you for your attention. Yes. The lady, then the gentleman. Yes, Dr. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering with your system, do you also um, interact with regulatory uh, T-cells in particular when you st uh, stimulate the dendritic cells? Probably. This is a very important question because, of course, this system is, is really uh, working, for example, in vitro here. Uh, I just want to specify that uh, it's very difficult to, to propose uh, uh, murine models, for example, because, of course, the murine are not exposed to the measles virus, so it's, it's very difficult to control this on immunocompetent uh, animals, but for to, to, to go to your question, but yes, if we have to use this vaccine in a cancer vaccine, we have to take care of the regulatory T cells. That means, as you know now, we have uh, epilimumab, we have a lot of, uh, of uh, control of the regulatory T cells with antibodies against CTLF4, uh, PD-1, PDL one and, uh, but the, it, this is an important question as a strategy to uh, develop this vaccine cancer therapy, yeah, sure. May I s add a, a second question? I'm just wondering if this um, measles um, vaccine can also be used as a vector for um, tumor expression of um, tumor-associated antigens. So can you at the same time use this for, um, for instance, expression of her 2 nu and you get a, a, a two-side effect on the cytotoxicity as well as um, antibody responses and would have a very effective yes. response then? It's a possibility. What we, we, we don't use, uh, we use this one as a vector, not, for, not a vector to expose one protein, for example, because the large expression of the protein that you talked before yesterday. This is large but, but, uh, um, we, we used Actually, we used two ways. Uh, the first way is, is uh, we deleted um, uh, this vaccine for a specific uh, C protein uh, because to, to, to increase the apoptotic induction, that means the uh, tumor cell resistant to the infection because they, they, uh, they have uh, resistance to apoptosis, uh, we, by a specific vector of this missile virus, we are uh, able to, uh, um, to, to, to treat these cells too. This is the first uh, vector we use instead of uh, to propose protein. The second one is to, to uh, if necessary, I'm not sure, but if necessary, we are able to use uh, as a vector for GMCSF, for example, to, to increase the maturation process or activation of the dendritic cells. But it seems it's not uh, necessary, really. But yes, of course, this uh, virus uh, vaccine is able to, to be used as a vector too for, for this cancer therapy, sure. Dr. Toro, then the gentleman behind. Dr. Toro, I think, was first. Well, th thank you very much for your uh, you. data. And uh, I would like to know uh, if whether it would be possible to get uh, some kind of um, um, same pattern for uh, what you did, what mm -hmm. you, are, you are doing, and what uh, in a life of uh, cancer research I did. 
what? Some kind of uh, merging uh, cross solid. I think what Dr. Toro is possibly hinting at is that you do two things. One, you use the tumour and infiltrate that, and, and, uh, and, and secondly, you infect with measles uh, vaccine and, and, and get the effect of the, of the two things with the additional sensitised macrophages and uh, dendritic cells and the, uh, the immunological effects of a mm -hmm. live measles vaccine. Yes, that's in the two way of the use of the virus, you, you mean? Yes? It's no? hitting it twice yes. with you know, two blows. Yes, yeah, sure. But very important, for example, I, I didn't talk about the, in, in the, um, the idea of the vaccine also. Uh, most of, the, of ours are vaccinated or resistant to the, to the measles, uh, uh, actually. But uh, that's why uh, it's necessary to treat inside the tumor, for example, so what, what we tested already on, uh, on immunodeficient uh, models. But you have to inject inside the tumor because this, you, you are able to kill maximum of the tumor cells at that site and then to activate the uh, immune response uh, then after. But uh, you have to inject at the proximities of the tumor cells. I yes. think, I think that the, the, you may be looking at two kinds of tumors. I think mm. the solid tumor you right. can take out and play right. around with. Yes. The kind of tumor you get in the lung, which is dispersed through the lung mm. and forms in the epithelium or mm. at the endothelium of, of the cells there, it's much more difficult to do the kind of things so that Dr. Toro is talking about. Yes, except about. that we, we, we plan to expose to spray, for example, for the... Uh, but my feeling is, have you... I mean, you know, it begs the question as to why you haven't done this in, you know, small cell um, sort of uh, uh, lung carcinoma and, and large cell lung carcinoma. Have you, have you tried it on patients that have those diseases? Because I'm, uh, Pardon? Because I'm right, uh, uh, mainly specialized in the mesothelioma first. <laughs> Um, and I mean, you could do it on a named patient basis. I mean, yes. just sort of, I mean, mm -hmm. I forget the, ma the monkeys and the mice and the ferrets mm -hmm. and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. This goes, you've got a, a prima facie course of going straight into humans because mm -hmm. you're actually using a human regulatory, regulated vaccine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I used to make actually for Merck Sharp and Dome in, in the good old days. But uh, And the interesting there, of course, with the the attenuated measles virus, hmm. we used to grow it in chick embryo fibroblasts, okay? And you could get seven harvests. Every two days you'd get another harvest, which means hmm. it wasn't killing the cell, it was growing in the cells. Yes. Um, but on the other hand, what you showed very convincingly and very beautifully, let me say, yes, there is was that in fact you mm -hmm. were actually getting cells that were um, forming syncytia, mm -hmm. And these syncytia were basically uh, susceptible to elimination by the phagocytic system, mm -hmm. which was very beautiful. And I think it's a totally different response to actually growing the virus in chick embryo fibroblast, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. different system. But it, but it shows that the measles virus is a, um, uh, it's almost a, uh, it's something different in terms of a virus. I think uh, this guy, Ad uh, what's his name, uh, Adrian Wakefield or something, was looking at residual measles virus mm -hmm. uh, that actually stayed in the cells. The genome for the measles virus occurred almost throughout the body mm -hmm. uh, as a resident of cells once you'd been vaccinated with the live attenuated measles virus. Does this impinge upon your thinking with regard to using measles virus as a, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a, as, as a cure, a cure yeah, sure. for cancer? Mm -hmm. No, a lot of things are able to, 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 to do with this vaccine uh, or to prepare for dendritic cells ex vivo, for example, with, loaded with uh, tumor cells. Uh. Okay, the gentleman. Uh. Yeah, just briefly, um, yeah, Brian Meyer Merkin Company. So with respect to measles, we, uh, I think everyone in this room probably has titers against measles. So if you're using it as a, th as a therapeutic for cancer, how would you would actually administer the measles uh, virus without having your neutralizing antibodies, circulating antibodies, attack the incoming virus in 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 a patient. How we we, we plan to um, to, uh, the, to there's residual to measles antibodies mm -hmm. as a result yeah, sure. of having been vaccinated. Yes. Mm -hmm. So people are protected against yes, the measles course. vaccine virus. Uh, how then would it have exert its effect on the cancer? Bearing mm -hmm. in mind that. Um, that that's why I say that uh, necessity to uh, to inject inside the tumor first, not not ah, in the not in U, in IV, for example. Okay. The the last um, this year on April it was demonstrated by uh, Steve Russell in a 
Rochester, but uh, from two uh, patients uh, non exposed to virus before, it was possible for these people, but uh, specific people. But now, what we plan to do is exactly to, to inject either inside the tumor or at the proximity of the tumor cells. That means that's why mesothelioma, ovarian cancer in the uh, peritoneal cavity or pleural cavity. Uh, quietly, in a, uh, when you inject inside, you are very close to the tumor cells. And then after, it's a competition between the yes. time the virus infects the tumor cells and the immune system that react it. to this one. That's why, of course, th that's why we are going to, it's a, it's a, it's a course, it's a competition, of course. Got sure. it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, just taking that a little bit further, again, you can do it with, you can inject into, into a, a solid tumor. I mean, it's, solid not, tumor, it's yes. there, it's obvious, and you can get it. But we're talking about small cell lung carcinoma and large cell lung, mm. which are basically distributed carcinomas, aren't they? Mm. I mean, they're, they, they're not in solid lumps here, there, and everywhere you can go for. Mm. Um, uh, is it possible to use sort of, um, uh, sort of uh, drugs which impede the action of the immune system that, uh, uh, that sort of render people, I mean, make, make people susceptible to... Um, an infection, uh, immunocompromised people, or make people immunocompromised in some way. We, there are drugs that do this, and they mm -hmm. use it mm -hmm. when you do a transplant, for instance. Yes, you mean to, to inject a, a drug in addition with the vaccine yeah. to, to stimulate uh, or to prepare the immune system to, to, to uh, yes, of course. So it seems that it's very... But you're, but you're not really using the immune system. What you're using, basically, is a measles-infected cell, mm. which is a different animal to, to uh, uh, forming syncytia, which, again, mm -hmm. are different animals to B cells and T yes, cells and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not an immune reaction. I mean, it's not a reaction of the immune system. It is, I mean, in terms of the macrophages and the dendritic cells yes, that mop up the syncytia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a different kind of immune interaction mm -hmm. that you're getting. But it seems that the immune system is ready, but it's a problem of the Treg regular T cells that are also we have to take care. And, uh, mm. okay, okay, are there any more you. questions?